Okay, so um, there's two concepts that I want you to start kind of like learning about Docker. One is um, there's, uh, there's images and there's containers. And images uh, are basically the blueprints for the containers. Um, and these images can be easily, you know, moved around. They're the ones that live on the, on the Docker uh, hub, like the GitHub that I mentioned earlier. Um, and you can put your own, you know, custom images on your Docker hub with, uh, under your name, kind of like it's exactly the same as, as GitHub. So for us to look at the, what Docker images we have at any given moment, you do the following command, uh, Docker images. And here you'll see the list of all the images that are installed in your, in your machine. As you can see, we have this hello world one, which is um, the one that we, when we did Docker run hello world, what happened was Docker didn't find that image <clears throat> and it kind of like downloaded it to the, um, to our machine. So uh, now I have that, that image in there, I can do Docker run hello world and it's gonna run like really quickly um, because it's, it's already kind of like installed. You see that there was no downloading or anything, it just executed it. In this case, that image doesn't do a lot, like the like whatever is inside in there. It just prints this out to the terminal and then ends. Um, so, what I'm um, what you're you're not getting here is that that Docker image when you do Docker run, it actually creates an, an, a container um, and then kind of like dies immediately. Um, so we're gonna see how we do um, a Docker container that uh, would run um, uh, a MySQL uh, box so that we can start powering our, our blog application in there. So let's clear the screen and we're gonna um, basically install and run a, a, a MySQL database uh, in, in our local machine. Um, but the way that uh, we're gonna run it as a, a, another database server that is 100% compatible with my, with MySQL called MariaDB. And uh, it doesn't, you don't have to worry about any kind of like inconsistencies. They're both exactly the same uh, kind of MySQL server that you had in in in, uh, in our blocking application earlier. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna do the following Docker run. Um, you can put a name to that, um, uh, to that uh, image and it's gonna be, uh, db and then we're gonna have this is uh dash e means like environment variables that and this vary between uh image image to image and in this case you can pass a mysql root password and um and we're gonna pass that uh by the following uh name mysql root password all caps equals test so you can log into the as a root um user on this database using uh, root and then test as the, as the password. Then we're gonna have dash D, which means run as a daemon, um, means that that container will continue running after you run it the first time and it doesn't die down like the hello world uh, one does. And then finally, we're, we're gonna expose a port called 3306 in this, um, uh, in this container. Um, and finally, we're going to call this the MariaDB um, uh, image. So let's do that. So it didn't find that locally, which is, uh, you know, what we expected. And now it starts downloading um, all the all the content for that container. So it'll take, uh, you know, four or five minutes, depending on your connection speed. Um, so we'll um, we'll resume when when this is complete. Okay, so it finished uh, downloading and it says downloaded a newer image and then it gives me like this uh, long long hash. That hash is also like a, uh, an identifier for this uh, container. So um, so let's ch check Docker images. Let's clear the screen and we're gonna check. Now we have two images installed, MariaDB, which is the name that we had it, um, you know, at the end of that, of that command. This is the image ID. Sometimes you need to address the image ID and it's the size is 300 megs. That is amazingly uh, uh, small for a full MySQL like, like server. 
And uh, the way that we're gonna see if, if that image uh, images like a container is running, we're gonna do the following: Docker ps. And as you can see here, um, there's the container ID, which is different from the image ID. See this this container. Imagine that this container is kind of like an instance of this class MariaDB. And but the name of that container is DB. That was the the, the command. Remember that that we push dash dash name DB. So the container name is DB, but the image that is based from is MariaDB. And what's happening right, right now in this machine, and I'm e hardly using any resources, is I'm actually running a full-blown MySQL server. And this is the beauty of Docker. It's like very, um, uh, very efficient, and you can simulate what would happen in the real world, like in, in, in our example here, I'm gonna simulate that the blog application has a separate database server outside of the application, which is the, exactly the way that we run on, on production. So remember in Cloud9, we had the MySQL living inside and, and it was on, all on the same container. Well, Docker allows us to start building this kind of like uh, like clusters. And, and you'll see that Docker has uh, tools to do this. Uh, to, it's called orchestration in some, in some cases where you will deploy a full kind of like a cluster of servers, which is like two application servers and one database and one, um, you know, Nginx and one uh, Redis box. And, and they're all running on your machine, but they're going to run exactly the same in the production environment. So, but how do we connect to this, uh, to this database? How do I kind of like get into it? So let's see how we do that. 